it's definitely a, a mysterious, thrilling series. But hopefully, we've you know been truthful to and respectful to the to who Brenda Lafferty was, and I think that that's why I got involved in the first place. I love this show. I love the book. Uh, how does this role differ from anything that you've taken on before? Each role has its own challenges. And I think, you know, the, the the challenge of this one was there was a longevity to it, not only just in the sense of how many episodes the character's drawn out, but the, the timeline of understanding who Ron Lafferty is, is very split up. So you're kind of marking the time and the marking the transition and decline of this character. Um, and you could be very specific about that. So you can uh, reveal, you know, you're not revealing the same thing every time. So that was challenging. What responsibilities do you feel in portraying a real life person? I think the the whole, you know, the the whole undertaking of this series has a responsibility to um, the, the the memory of Brenda Lafferty and her family that are that are still alive. I think it was something when I first read it that was in the writing that was very delicately handled by Lance. And that's why I wanted to be involved because any true story, that's the responsibility you have is to tell the story with some grace. Yeah, I think you, you kind of touched on this, but when you read the script, what stuck out to you the most? What did you find the most intriguing? It was that, that it wasn't exploitative of what happened. And it was an examination of the, the, the radicalization of faith and how people can subvert their values to get their own means and then the dire consequences that come from that. It is, it, you know, it's a dark story. What's the key to leaving it at work, not taking it home with you at the end of the day. Kids, I have kids. I can't really take home any baggage because I have a responsibility to them not to do that. Do they come with you to Calgary? It's Calgary, right? No, they didn't. So I had a I had a 10 hour decompression as well on the flight back every time I go home. And then they don't want to hear what dad's going on with dad's life and dad's world. <laughs> they just want to watch Octonauts and play tag. <laughs> so it's like, yeah. When they see you on screen, are they like, I don't know how old they are, but when they see you on screen, are they like, Dad? They don't care. They turn over to Barney. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, you know, Andrew was telling me, you know, he was trying to find some things to do on, on his downtime on set. He ended up taking up knitting. Did you end up doing anything <laughs> on set? He did not. He did not. <laughs> That's what he said. He's lying. <laughs> he didn't take up knitting. <laughs> he sounded pretty serious. <laughs> really? All right. Okay. Okay. I want to see some of these knittings he's done. <laughs> oh, so do I. So did I. Sweater. Is that what he did? Or some mittens? <laughs> some booties? <laughs> I don't know about this. Did you take up any new hobbies? <laughs> Not knitting. No. <laughs> uh, are you a true crime person? Like, do you find any documentaries, dramas, podcasts? Is that of I, interest? I like you? the I like the first forty eight. That's what I like. I like that show a lot. Oh, yeah. 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 Um, we're about to launch. We talked about this a little bit at the premiere last night, but we're about to launch into this new leg of Avatar after almost a decade later. How do you describe that feeling? Hmm relief was there a moment where you were like i don't know if this will happen no because I, I trust jim and i trust jim's passion for that project and and the story that he wants to tell and, and you know i'm i'm very aware of where he's taking it and what this journey of this family is and and that's it's it's interesting and it's you know i'm humbled to be involved how does this next next leg would you say compare to its predecessor I can't tell you that. <laughs> I don't think I'm allowed to. <laughs> yeah, true. I don't think also I want to. I like the surprise of it. I like, you know, that we've been very secretive for the last 15 years and, and it's that only a select group of us know it. And then and then when it comes out, once it's ready and done, you hand it over to an audience, just like with this TV series. And and, and that's where it lives. But for the, you try to hold on to it as best you can before you have to give it to the world. What are you most excited for the audiences to see in Under the Banner of Heaven? It's definitely a, a mysterious, thrilling series. But hopefully we've you know, been truthful to and respectful to, the, to who Brenda Lafferty was. And I think that, that's why I got involved in the first place, because I thought that you know, he was a woman who, in a weird way, was ahead of her time with her views and, and unfortunately maybe you know, paid the ultimate price for that. Well, it's really well done. Congratulations. Well, I like you. your Adidas, by the way. Yeah, thanks. It's, thanks. Uh, you know what that stands for? All day, I dream about Sam. <laughs> <laughs> thank, thank you so much. Take care. <laughs>